Let's get warmed up for boot camp. Go ahead, jog it out. Get those arms pumping. Keep that jog going, one arm backwards. Yep, stick with that arm. <laughs> and take it forward. Good, other arm, take it back. Take it forward. And plant those feet shoulder width. Hinge those hips, go into that Y. Bring those shoulder blades together. Let your back move your arms for you. A little shrug in those shoulders. And bring it up to standing. Give me some torso twists. Plant those feet. Good, back to that jog. Good, let's go ahead and get those hips ready. Alternate legs. Nice and open, get that knee up tall. shoulder width, slowly hinge down, go for those toes, bob up and down, and slowly bring it back up, shoulder rolls to the back, do that one more time, nice and slow, warm those hamstrings up, bob up and down, keep those legs straight, and slowly roll up, very good, jumping jacks, full body, get it nice and ready, Good 4th of July themed workout for you. Each first exercise in each circuit is 4th of July themed, so don't judge my name that I named everything. They're actually called something else, but I got clever. Last five, three, two, one. Very good. Let's get ready for circuit one. Circuit one, exercise one. We've got firework lunges. I basically took a lunge and added a bunch of other stuff to it so that at the end we look like a little firework. So you're gonna have one weight in your right hand or whatever side of the body you start on, but whatever side of the body you're holding the weight, that's the leg that steps back into that lunge. So we're down, we step into a reverse lunge, come up, balance on one leg, curl, holding that balance, rotate, shoulder press with a lateral. There's that firework part in it. Okay, so we ready? <laughs> So we step down, balance, curl, rotate, press, and kick. We'll stay on this side and then halfway through we'll switch. So that'll actually go by pretty quick since it's a lot to the movement. So pay attention and then we'll switch and then we'll go to the other side. Just remember the weight is in my left hand so my left leg's moving or vice versa. And then our second one, we're just gonna jump forward in that bound. So we're here, load up and then shuffle it back, okay? And then we're gonna end this circuit with Superman, so lying flat on our back. We'll raise that chest up. Everything from the knee down is up off the ground. Feel that tightness in the small of the back, and then lower down and relax. That is on your own count when you raise and then when you lower down. Round one, everything's a minute, so get your weight ready for those firework lunges. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Job. Keep that balance. Take it slow. You got less than 10 seconds left. And we go to the other leg right away. Three, two, 
One, switch and go. Good job. Lot to think about, you can do it. Last five. Very good, all right, forward jump, backwards pedal. Land with those knees bent, basically land in a squat, okay? Go. Job, get nice and loaded up. Lower down, push those hips back and explode forward. forward straight out in front of you like you're flying and then take it all the way down even rest your head and neck so forehead down to the ground again hold these for as long or as short as you would like just make sure from the knee down of your leg is off the ground when you're rising At the same time as your chest and everything up is rising as well Twenty seconds left. Good job, keep those arms nice and straight. Fly away. Very good. Quickly bring it back up. Back to fireworks. Down to forty-five seconds. We're going three. Remember, this one is all about balance. So take your time. Three, two, one, other leg. Good. Good job. You ready to jump? When I say loading, I mean sit back in those heels, get low, and then explode. Begin. And then you don't have to stay down low. So we're low. You can stand up and shuffle back. That's okay.
Got 15 seconds left. Try not to let go of that Superman pose until you feel that pull in the small of your back. That's what we want. That's why we're tightening those muscles at lower back and the glutes. Very good. 30 seconds now, it's gonna go quick. Should get two or three of these fireworks done each leg. Ready? Go. Three, two, one, switch. That was a dud firework. <laughs> Job. See if you can get those thighs off the ground too. Let's go. We want to feel that pull. Time. Very good. Pause it. Grab water. We'll get ready for circuit two. Circuit number two. Exercise one. Squats and stripes. All that is is a lateral squat with T arms. So as you step out, we're here. And then alternate sides, okay? And then second ones, push-ups, modify those how you need to. If you want to switch it up, if you have the equipment at home to do incline or decline push-ups, I don't really care. Just do push-ups. And then your last one's going to be a half kneeling tricep kickback. We will switch arms and we will switch legs, okay? So the side of the body you're doing the kickback on, that's the leg that's bent. Use yourself to kind of lean. And then you're gonna extend that arm back. And then when I say switch, just put it to the other side and then bring that other leg up, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with those squats and stripes. Nice lateral squat. I gotta space myself out a little bit. <laughs> All right, one minute. Ready? Go! Like an eagle. Yeah. Super patriotic. If you want, if you have light weights at home, if you want to hold a dumbbell in each hand to add to the intensity of that arm raise, that's fine. Otherwise, we're just squatting side to side, bringing those arms up, flying like an eagle. <laughs> Song will be in my head all day now. <laughs> Go ahead and blame myself on that one. <laughs> Set me up for it. I, just, I know. He's been hilarious. Job, get low. We don't have any weights, so let's go. Get low. Last 10. Good job. Get ready for push ups. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's <laughs> fine. Take a break when you need it. Drop those knees down like I did already. If I want to focus on good form and it's a minute long, I'm going to modify it when I can. Minute is a long time in push up and plank world. Yes. 
Pressure up and plank time is relatable to waiting for your food in the microwave. <laughs> time goes by so slowly, slowly. 20 seconds left. And then those arms really don't get much of a break because we got those tricep kickbacks coming up next. Good. All right, one side of the body. Knee comes up, weight in that hand. Lean it forward, kind of use that knee and use your other arm to help lean you forward. Pull that belly button in tight. Extending that forearm straight back behind us. Good job. 10 seconds left on this arm, and then we switch. Three, two, one. Other arm. Switch the legs, two. Job, get through this. Round one is done. We move on to round two, where everything is 45 seconds. Last five, three, two, one. Good job. Start squats and stripes. I said stripes and squats. It's all the same. Begin. Feel the burn in those shoulders, just on those shoulder raises. Especially after already doing these, especially after just getting down with those push-ups and triceps. But we keep those arms straight. We keep raising them up right at shoulder level. We're getting low in our squats. Just keep moving. Last five. Very good, push-ups. Begin. Job, get that chest down. Use that chest. Those arms to push you back up. Job, less than 10 seconds left. Come on, don't give up. I know those arms are tired, but we're close. Good, triceps. Same side of the body, leg and arm. Hinge it forward, lean it forward. Kick it back. Keep leaning forward, don't sit up right. Last three. Very good. Squats and stripes, round three. That means it's 30 seconds. We go quick. Last round, last round. Woo! Squat. Ooh, those shoulders. Get those arms up, let's go. Last three, two, one. Good job. 
push-ups. Begin. Time, you guys. Come on, let's go. You can do this. Don't give up on me. I'm right here with you. Drop to the knees if you need to modify. Just don't stop. Last five. Good. Triceps. Transition very quickly. That 15 seconds will fly by. Three, two, one. Go. Three, two, one, switch. That was fast. I told you. This is it though. Circuit two is done in eight seconds. Let's go. Listen for that buzzer. That's when you're done. You get that break. Woo. Very good. Pause it and I'll see you back here for round three. Circuit number three. We've got red, white, and glue. So we're gonna be down in that quadruped position. And each color that I just said is a different position your leg's gonna go in. And halfway through, we'll switch to the other leg. So, we're down in that quadruped position. Go away. <laughs> yeah, so we're here, our shoulders are stacked directly above our hands, and then we've got that nice flat back. So, red, white, and glutes. What you're gonna do for that? So you're gonna go out to the side. Red, white, and then extend it. So if you can see that. So we're here, we go out, red, breathe in, white, glute. You just extend to that nice straight leg and then bring it back. So you can go back out to the side. So red, bring it in, white, take it up to the top, glutes, nice straight leg, okay? Like I said, we'll switch halfway through. Exercise two is squat get ups. We stay nice and low for these. Swivel, swivel, up, up, and we're still low. Modify, just get nice and low. Turn those knees in, okay? But stay as low as possible. You're still gonna feel it, I promise. And then our last one is a modified renegade row. So renegade rows, we're usually in that plank position and we're rowing while holding on dumbbells. You only need one dumbbell for this. Again, we're in that quadruped position. One hand flat, one here. Pull, pull, and then slide it to the other hand. If you want to add some intensity for this, you can pull, pull, come up into a plank, drag it, drop back down, pull, pull, okay? I'm gonna be doing that, but I'm gonna leave it completely up to you. You just wanna do your two pulls and then slide it onto the other hand. So let's go ahead and get started with that red, right, and glute. Remember, red's out to the side, bring it in, white all the way up to the top, and then glute. Keep that leg up and just extend right at that knee. Here we go, three, Two, only one leg. Go. Good job. Keep all that weight in the palm of whatever leg you're moving. Three, two, one, other leg. Take it how you wish. 
wish. Is your glass half full or is it half empty? Last 15. Come on, good job. Keep it moving. Drop, get up, drop, get up. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Modified Renegade Row. Optional to come up into that high plank as you push the dumbbell to the other side. Nice flat back. Keep that weight tucked in tight. Pull two. Really use that back. That weight is super close to the ground. So really train yourself to use that upper back to pull. Try to lighten up your grip. All on that upper back. Use those traps. Almost there, last five. Very good. All right, stay down here. Red, white, and glutes. 45 seconds. One leg. Don't switch for me. Here we go. Squeeze those glutes. Switch. Good job. Squat get up. Get low. Here we go. Halfway, good job. standing up you can do it sit kind of in that quarter squat position get ready done good job renegade row to pull optional to go up into the planks transition the weight to the other side ready go good nice pulls again that weight's super low to the ground already so you might not be able to extend your arm all the way down. So use this time to train what muscle is supposed to do, what kind of work here. Almost there, three. One, good job, back to those glutes. One more time through, 30 seconds. It's kind of nice staying here. You got it. I'm gonna really move on this one, here we go. Good job. 
Done. Squat get ups. I'll be glad when these are over. <laughs> so done. And go. I was gonna say, notice how Katie doesn't say a word when we do squat get ups. Nope. She's counting. <laughs> Halfway, you guys. Good job. Good job. Renegade row, two pull. Transition to the other side. Nice flat back. Use those traps. Here we go. Rolling off 
my math, though. I'm having too much fun. Job, you guys. Take a break whenever you need it. A lot of core work. Three minutes in a row of core is a lot. 15 seconds left, though. And then we're back to that star plank. We'll drop down to 45 seconds of work. Very good, star plank. Three, two, one, wide stance. Play. Very good. Get those hips down. Job. Keep it held there. You're almost there. Six seconds left, and then back to those bicycles. Very good. Hands behind the head, elbow to knee. Good job, less than 15 seconds left. And then back to those ab bursts. Last three. Good job, ab bursts. And then you're almost done. We'll knock it down to 30 seconds for that last round. Ready? Burst. that roll back either if you're doing the roll back take it nice and easy kind of massage your back a little bit roll it out get your balance <laughs> Good job 20 seconds left stay in that C sit position when you burst out though don't sit up and do it Here we go, 30 seconds. This is nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. 30 seconds of perfect form. Let's go, focus. Tracking that core, our hips are down. Eight seconds left, beautiful. Bicycles. Three, two, one, let's go. Halfway. Four, three, two, one. Burst. Last 30 seconds of work, and then you are done. Woo. Woo. Let's go. This is it. Uh oh. Yeah. 
have hit some stuff with a Lincoln log. <laughs> Great president over it. Ours are just so long. Hey, Lincoln. He had, he could talk. Last three, let's go, come on, one more! Woo! Good job! I hope everyone has a really happy 4th of July. Stay safe, stay hydrated.